What is going on everybody on YouTube? How's it going? My name is Derek Ruiz. Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And uh, I see I see the subscribers. I see you guys. Appreciate the love. Keep the comments coming. Keep the likes coming. Keep the subscriptions coming. Alright guys? Today we're going to be talking about social media and how social media can help you market your candy. Help you market your candy business. Alright? So the title of the video will probably be something like how to advertise your candy selling business. And I got this fresh bottle of water here and I plan to drink the whole thing by the end of the video. So social media behind your candy selling business. And we all know 2017, social media is a very powerful invention basically you know platforms such as Instagram snapchat Twitter boom that's where you want to start okay so starting off with Instagram it is a a photograph based platform and really what you want to do is just take a picture of your candy post it hey guys selling candy I'll be at such and such spot I'll be selling out for one dollar please support me Easy as that. You can switch it up, put it in your own words, give your own flavor, it'll make everything better. In the first candy video, we did talk about preparation slash organization. Here we're talking about organization slash presentation. Okay, so when people are seeing this, this picture of candy pop up on their timeline, you know, they're gonna be saying, what the heck is this pile of candy, goodbye. You wanna present it in a way where it's appealing. Light, I'm talking lighting good, Everything about the candy that you're presenting needs to look appealing, needs to look tasty. We want it, all right? So just like you're organizing your candies in your candy bag to make it presentable, same thing for the picture, same thing for your advertising. Present the candy in a way that you can appreciate it, that your customers can appreciate it, and just the way that it looks good. So stack the candies is really my go-to. Uh, was one of the thumbnails for the first candy video casual stack fat piles you know try to make it look if you can in a way where you have more than you really do which is always a good little tip right there present the candy in a way where it's good take your picture make sure the lighting's good Instagram Twitter there you go last platform that really worked for me and it's gonna work for you is snapchat same thing hey guys selling candy tomorrow help me out support me one dollar easy as that and then you can take it around flip it on yourself and let them know what you're about where you're gonna be exactly how much they're going for types of candy you got a little tip a selfie is not a bad idea and i'm gonna say this because they're gonna see a picture like wow this candy looks nice looks yummy who is this guy? Who is this girl? You put, you take the selfie, they match the face to the candy. They see you walking in the hall, see you walking wherever at school. They know it's you. Okay, and if you're not comfortable with this, fine, sure. Take the picture um, you know, of your candy, no selfie is needed, but selfie, you know, it could be a go-to, it could not be a go-to for you. So that's all I'm gonna comment on. The danger of this, the con to this selfie technique with the candy um, is really the administration, teachers, security guards, anybody working at the school, if they happen to you know, have a Twitter, have a Snapchat, everybody in my school district um, you know, had Instagrams and Twitters. I don't know about Instagram, but they had Twitter for sure. Hey guys, just finished recording this video about three hours ago, realized I want you to practice these, these techniques, practice these tips I'm giving you but do it in a very cautionary manner. I'm, I'm getting serious mode on this because getting caught, it can affect the future of your business drastically. Trust me, okay? You do not want to get caught. So yes, take this advice, apply it to your own business. If you truly believe you are ready to take the further step in growing your business, okay? If not, keep this video in mind. You will be ready. This video honestly applies to novice sellers, intermediate, and advanced candy sellers, okay? It'll help anyone. It, this video can help anyone, like I said, if you feel you're ready to take the next step. 
If not, get ready, get prepared because this is an important step in the candy selling business. Back to the video. This was brought to my attention that, you know, someone's asking me, I don't really have that many friends at school. How, sh how should I be selling candy? How am I supposed to sell candy if I don't have friends, you know? You do not need friends to make money in this business, okay? If anything, you'll gain, you'll, you'll gain friends, you'll gain acquaintances uh, through this business. So you really gotta be bold and you gotta just go out there, side tip here, you gotta go out there, sell your candy. Who needs friends, man? You don't need friends to make money here. Um, the friends will come with your good attitude, your good salesmanship, You'll make some friends, trust me on that. So touching back, if you do have a lot of followers from your high school, middle school, then stay away from the selfie because they already know who you are because they're following you, okay? I would say I would say more for Instagram because on Twitter, anyone could retweet, your, your friends could retweet your thing, your tweet, and then any of their followers could um, see it, could retweet it. Tip here, block anyone, block your principals, block administration, block security, blocked, okay? Um, but if if you have them blocked and you tweet a picture of your candy and then your friend retweets it But they don't have them blocked or the principal's following them the administration is following them um, Then they're gonna see of course because they retweeted it if you have a lot of followers from your school Then stay away from the selfie, but if you're not if you're not into the uh, followers Then I suggest start follow people from your school get connected. It's all about mark. It's all about uh, excuse me Can't think of the word, but you know, get connected with your students, follow them, <clears throat> so they see your post, they see your recent post, whatnot. Let's see what we got here. We covered a lot here. We did cover a lot. I like the way this video is coming along. Basically, the the last tip. Uh oh, right here. Last tip I have for you guys is delete. Delete, 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 delete your posts. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat deletes by itself, but say in my situation, you do have a tweet, an Instagram post, a Snapchat that does pop off and is successful, excuse me, successful, and someone does end up seeing it who could get you in trouble, then you're gonna wanna delete within how much? You Okay. Another tip, you're gonna wanna delete in about 15 hours when you're at school, so that way if they s they can't see the video, you know, they have no proof unless someone screenshots, what? You don't have to worry about that, no one really does that. But do delete your videos, do delete your pictures within, please, within 24 hours, I would say within 15 hours. But what was the tip I was gonna get at? Oh man, I just had it. Where we at, we're at deleting. Deleting, deleting, deleting. Oh, I thought it hit my tongue. Wow. Remember the tip. So you might be asking, when should I be posting this? Now, often when I posted a picture was when I restock, when I re-up on the candy, because that's when your candy's gonna be most appealing because you have the most number. So the higher number of candy you have in your picture, the more appealing it's gonna look. And that's really, really when you're gonna wanna take a picture. So you, you go pick up your candy, it's sent to your house, where, however you're getting your candy. It's, it's really gonna wanna be on a Sunday night before the week starts. So no, they see on a Sunday night and they, they say, wow, this guy stocked up for the week. This girl stocked up for the week, I know who he is. Cause he had the selfie in it if you did. So yes, Sunday night preferably, or whenever you happen to restock. You do not wanna get too, uh, Repetitive with these posts, I would say once a week is good because if they if they're seeing candy candy post after candy post after candy post on their TL, you're unfollowed. They, no one wants to see you know candy all day, candy every day coming from you because you're posting about it. Now keep it to a week minimum, a week maximum. Excuse me. No. Once a week, that's when you're posting your pictures, please. If any of you were thinking of taking pictures of the boxes by themselves, think again. I want you guys to take the candy out of the box and present it how, how you'd be selling it, okay? Obviously you're not selling boxes, you're selling individuals. So yes, do take the candy out of the box. For some of you, you might be thinking like, wow, that's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but you know, you gotta put in the work 
to get the results. Like, you, you probably heard that before. Take the candies out, present them, put the candies back in, and you're stored. That's all I got for today, guys. It's wrapping it up. Social media behind your candy selling business. Despite my like type sweating forehead and redness, I imagine it's super hot in my room. I've had a blast, guys. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Appreciate the support. I'm loving it. You guys are awesome. Keep it, keep it up with the comments. Keep it up with the likes. Keep it up with the subscriptions, cause you know I like that. Um, you guys are amazing. Follow my Instagram. It'll be somewhere on the screen. Follow my Twitter. That'll be somewhere on the screen. I'm getting goofy mode, guys. That was a lot of fun. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, selfie, organization, presentation, administration on social media, deleting. We covered all the tips, fellas. This has been Derek Ruiz. Subscribe for more videos on candies, on skating, on vlogs, on me. Wow, I just, I just can't get over the love. I can't get over the support. Stay tuned for more. Catch you later. Oh my gosh, remind me never to do that. Who am I, Stilo Brim in here? Please, oh my. XX, cancel that one out.